How pathetic can some people be? I gotta tell you, I'm a little upset with my wife. Let me tell you why. This was my wife, right? We should buy a house. You can't lose money with real estate. It never goes down. So we bought a house in August of 2006, <laughs> which we now know is the absolute peak of the real estate market. Oh yeah, buy high, sell low. That's how I roll. Could flip it right now and move into a Ford Focus if I want to. <laughs> My whole street, we all bought in this new development on this cul-de-sac. Now we all hate each other. No one can leave. <laughs> it's like we live on a cul-de-stuck. Dumbass of the day. 93.3 KZOC. All right, just outside of Sacramento, many of you probably driven through it, heading on up to the Sierras for your ski trips in Tahoe, Auburn. In Auburn, there's a place called Auburn Greens. Hmm. Sounds uh, awesome. Welcome to Auburn Greens. Auburn Greens has a weird rule. Okay. The uh, Homeowners Association found out that one of the residents in the community was allowing somebody to live in their garage. Okay. Okay. So what they decided to do is make it so... It's full disclosure. Nobody could ever live in your garage. This has got residents very, very upset. If we have to have this open from 8 in the morning till 4 in the afternoon, anybody can help themselves and steal your blind. And they do it in this Auburn Greens complex. Wow, uh, so... That is the law in the Auburn's clean... Your Auburn, so you pay... I think I saw $200 a month was the HOA fee there. So you're paying $200 a month... To leave your garage door open from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. so the policing agencies of Auburn Greens could drive by your house and see if it looks like that the garage has been lived in. This is a policy that is standard daily. All right, this, let's talk about what makes sense here, right? What's a bigger <laughs> hindrance, right? One guy has some guy living in his garage, or everyone in this complex has to have their garage door open all day, or, meaning they either have to get a storage unit to put all their stuff in, find somewhere else to put their stuff, or they have to move. So I'm not living like that. I keep uh, my boat in my garage, let's say, what, or my ATVs. Like I, I can't keep anything in my garage anymore. Well, the reason why they put locks on garage doors is so you can store your stuff in there securely whether it be cars, boats, or personal goods. Whatever, yeah. Christmas stuff. I have a lot of Christmas stuff in my garage. And now, right of now. course, the news is going to run with this story because they're like, uh, hey, uh, you know, this is ridiculous. Now, that's a free advertisement to every thief in the greater Sacramento area. And believe me, I've been there before. There's a lot of thieves there. <laughs> to head on up to the hills of Auburn and take things from garages as they need to. Now, there is one way around it. If you want to keep your garage door closed, you face a $200 fine. Now, I don't know if that's a daily fine. I don't know what the deal is. But one uh, resident was like, fine, let me give you the $200 fine right now. Give me a month so I can get my stuff out, and I might as well clear everything out and leave the oh, garage door you. open I'm permanently because there's you. no point of having a garage door That's then. So wait, do, do the people that live in this neighborhood, do they all like get together and decide this and vote? I mean, is everybody included in a, in a decision like this? No. And in fact, the uh, homeowners, uh, I guess the homeowners monthly meeting is scheduled to take place in two weeks, so then they can... And then they w probably will change it. But until then, the rule is the rule. And everybody that doesn't leave their garage door open from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. is subject to a $200 fine. I'm the HOA president. I'm thinking some, you know, I'm thinking my house might get burned down. If I'm the HOA president, I'm thinking you better far start finding a better a new place to live. Like I would harass the HOA president until they moved out. This is that's it's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard of. Number one, I hate HOAs. Number two, 
Because you're just giving money to, you know, what are you giving money for? Oh, the neighborhood, which, oh, it's going into an account in case something happens. What's going to happen? Oh, I don't know. Sally's tree might go down. Well, then Sally should take care of it. It shouldn't take HOA money. This is how these things work. Mm -hmm. I was looking at a a townhouse complex in a Tascadero of all places, and the HOA was $350 a month. And and I go, what what is that? I mean, what are you paying for? What do you have, like a clubhouse? Is there a pool? A pool or something? In my backyard? No, we have nothing. A personal pool in my backyard? It's just maintained it's because just, that's what it would cost. It's just to mow the grass. <laughs> because they mow the grass for you. I'm like, oh. It's like, hell, pay me $350 a month. I might mow everybody's grass. <laughs> I know that these houses are right on top of each other. The lawns aren't that big. No, there was like there was like 60 units in there, and it was like $350 per unit. Jesus. I mean, and that's a month, brother. That is a month. I know. I'm not very good at math, so I have to get my calculator out. What, 60 but, times 350? Is, yeah. that what you're, is that what you're looking at? That's why they get you, man. But that's like, let's say, 60 times 350 is $21,000 a month. A month in HOA. Mow freaking grass. To mow the grass! That is a... That lawnmower, that lawnmower has got <laughs> serious... Like, I mean, what? That lawnmower is pulling down $150,000 a year. Is approximately about $150,000 a year. I'm doing the wrong business. <sighs> you and your love, HOAs. Got to love those HOAs, don't you? Stay away. Because when you live in a neighborhood with HOAs, that means you have a committee. That means everybody has to make a decision. Everybody has to, be, if you want to change the color of your house, you have, yeah, I think most people know how this works. It's ridiculous. And there's more and more of them popping up because that's the most affordable housing is when you live in no, a no, tight no. neighborhood. It's the most affordable perceived housing. Right. That's very Because they'll say, oh, yeah, you can buy a place for $300,000. But it's going to cost you an extra four hundred dollars a month to live there. I'm not. I'm keeping my door closed. I'm not paying the fine. What are you going to do? Evict me? No. This is my house. I bought it. This will just be an open door policy, and saying welcome, take what you want. Uh-huh. They think they could have gone around this in a better logical way. Uh, like, for example, maybe a monthly inspection. Oh, there you go. That's a good idea. Yeah, come around every month and say, hey, we're just here from the HOA. We need to look at your garage for 10 minutes. Just make sure it doesn't look like anybody's living there. <laughs> hey, it's my house. Why can't I let somebody live in my garage? If you're paying $200 a month uh, <laughs> for that intrusion, right. then uh, you know what? At least you know it's coming. At least you don't have to leave your garage door open for everybody to steal your stuff. Kevin just wrote in and he just said, hey, he has an HOA. And they signed documents when they bought their house that, you know, if you don't pay your HOAs, that they can put a lien on your house. I mean, obviously, they have to be able to do something to hold your feet to the fire to pay your HOAs. And he says his isn't bad, not like, you know, some of the other ones that you see in the area. But Yeah, the slow ones are ridiculous. I, but, I, they uh, can uh, be ridiculous in a Tascadero. Right. I just told you this yeah. was a townhouse. But, yeah. I mean, they had little strips of grass. They did have a gate. It was a gated community, so you get a clicker, and you open the gate, and you come in. And, you know, but it was other. It was just townhouses. There was no basketball. There was nothing for the kids to do. Because I can't get in trouble mentioning colors. Okay. Have you ever seen this green and yellow complex just down the street um, over here? Uh Green and yellow. Yes, I can't. I can't. I can't give it the name, but it's on. Okay, you're, you're, it's on, you're pointing towards broad. It's on broad, n- within walking distance of where we live. Okay. Like the first, it looks like an apartment. Where we work, it looks like an apartment complex. Okay, yes. yeah, it, it looks like an apartment. Complex, I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah, but it actually is is townhomes, and 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 the apartments like it would be like a a lower end apartment complex. It's right? an older building, right? Oh my gosh! Like yes. they're probably built in the eighties. Yeah. Okay, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. You know what the HOA in the place is? <laughs> Dude, this will blow your mind. <laughs> I don't know. I can't wait to hear. 365. <laughs> For the most hideous looking apartment I've ever seen so in my you, life. So you, you went and looked at it or something? No, I was, I was looking it up oh, on, you were looking on, Zill, or on uh, Trulia. Uh, and, and it said, I just want to call him right now. Like, what the hell are you doing 365? 365. Why? You better, you better have some facilities on the, on the ready. Yeah, well, I asked him because we were looking at these townhomes. I said, well, what is the 350 for? And she said, oh, it's to keep up the grounds. And, you know, I'm not smart enough to put it together what we just did and did, you know, how many units do you have times three? $21,000 a month to mow the damn grass and water it. And they're little strips, you know, just as you come in. Nobody actually has grass in front of their place. It's, you know, it's just. We're asking the question on social media this morning uh, on both uh, Facebook and Twitter. It's Jeff and Jeremy. Uh, you can get there by linking up to kzoz.com is probably the easiest way. How much is your HOA and what does it go towards? Okay. Has anybody ever actually moved because their HOA was so bad? Oh, I'm sure they have. Or, you know, it just I'm got sure to be. I'm sure they have. 
ridiculous. I, my heart goes out to those people because they get into a place, they're just trying to live the American dream, and then you try to live this American dream, and then you're like, what did I, why am I handing over $365 a, a month for what? I don't know. A lot of ridiculous HOAs. Kevin Stupid. writes in from a Tascadero. He doesn't like his. Uh, but April just wrote in, and she said she pays two seventy a quarter, and she says you get a lot for it. She lives up at Heritage Ranch. They got a lot going on up there. Now, I did the math on this. Four quarters in a month, break it down or in a year, uh, it's $90 a month. Okay. And they have pools. You know, they have baseball uh, fields for the that's kids. That's a nice one. That's a nice one. Tennis courts. That's a, I, I've seen that Maintain one because I've seen the listings. Trails. Yeah, plus you got the the launch to launch your boat. Mm -hmm. If there's water in the, you know, which there is, I believe, right now. 90 bucks a month for all those facilities is not that bad. I, I've I've seen, I'm ready to move out there in a minute, but except for it's, you know, what's the commute to slow it's, from Heritage Ranch? It's, I believe, 58 minutes. <laughs> it's at least an hour, if there's right? no If there's no problems. <laughs> so that's, that's quite a drive. That's the only thing keeping me from moving out there because I think it's beautiful. Bradley, I'm in. I, I love Bradley. No, it's it is it is God's country out there, and um, I I would not I would not have a problem. And the fact that the house values are a little bit less out, out there because it is far away from everything, I would not have a problem. Like if you were a home uh, worker, like if you could have the ability to work from home, man, that would be the place to live, right? You know, do a little homework. Then go out and launch a boat, hang out on the lake, come yeah. back, do a little, do a little homework, maybe play uh, tennis. You got to find somebody to play tennis with, but <laughs> play some tennis, swim in the pool. I don't, and you know, Monday through Friday, those places like the tennis courts and the swimming pool, they're yours. It's all yours. You know, like you don't have to worry about anybody coming down there. Maybe some retirees. Yeah. But I mean, what, but see, that's, what harm do, are that's they what do? an HOA should be for, yes. right? These bastards that are building these new housing complex. There's a new one in Roy Grande going in and really nice homes. The builder checked out the builder really great. The homes are pretty expensive because it's, it's right there. It's the one that's right on the Grover Beach, a Royal Grande border. I mean, you can throw a rock in hit Grover Beach. Yeah. And I guarantee you, if the rock, if you threw the rock at Atlanta to Grover Beach and that's where they have this complex, probably the houses would be $100,000 less. But because they're on the Arroyo Grande side, they think they can get more. And then they're charging a couple hundred dollars a month for HOAs. And there's literally going to be like an area with a picnic table and some grass around it and, you know, and to hang out. That's it. There's no fire pits. There's no. See, that's the thing. Courts, you know, there's no pools. There's none of these hiking trails. There's. No tennis courts. There's nothing like what they have at Heritage Ranch. But it's in Arroyo Grande. It's over by the fake mountain brewery. See, that's the thing. It's like, it's like, it, how do the people sleep at night knowing that, okay, we're going to get raking it in $250, $350 from these people, everybody that lives here on a monthly basis to live here. And we're going to provide them with a slide and a picnic bench. And and some green areas that 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 a, that a twelve year old can maintain. Okay, right. like literally, that was my chore was to maintain our yard when I was twelve years of age. And I think I did a pretty damn good job doing it. I ran an edger too. Yeah, you know what the edger is? Mm -hmm. The thing with the blade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah my yeah, dad had to right go through the, the edges, I had to wear yeah. the safety glasses yeah. and everything in case a rock flew up. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. You get big clumps yeah. of mud that come up every once in a while, yeah. hit you in the face. Yeah, Killed it. What are, what were they paying me? Yeah. You got to live there. Yeah. That was your HOA. Congratulations. Friend. You get to eat today. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, HOAs are ridiculous. Yeah. So, anyways, we want to know uh, what's your HOA and what do you get with it? They got HOAs in Santa Maria? Yeah. Yeah. Believe it or not, we do. We have ours, our fees. It's a, and I'm assuming that most HOAs are gated communities because ours is gated. No. And, um, it doesn't no. have to be. No. That's not the case. I guess not. I guess they don't. I, based on what you guys were saying, I guess they don't have to be. But ours is gated, and it's about we pay about forty five bucks a, a month. Oh, that's nothing. And uh, and it pays for um, for example, if the gate gets damaged, they repair the gate. Or uh, we have a park and we have a um, barbecue <laughs> now uh, to maintain all that stuff. So, um, but there it got a little controversial a little while back because they wanted to do a um, charge you two. Oh, man. Yeah, I lost you. God, that's like the worst possible time for you to drop out. Yeah. Are you there still? I think he's gone. Oh. You million dollars of insurance. Oh, okay. We missed, we, missed all, we missed all that at controversy. Yeah, we thought you got taken out by a mudslide. You just disappeared. Yeah. So you said, what was the controversy recently? They wanted to charge you for what? Oh, they would. They, they recently 
set into um, a- enacted, you have to have a deposit of two hundred and fifty dollars to use the park facility where the barbecue is, and you have to take out a million dollar insurance policy if injured. Oh, geez. Jeez. <laughs> All right. Well, you're, we're listening to you again, but thanks for calling what in. What does that end up costing? You I don't know. A million dollar insurance right, I'm not policy. using the park. How about that? How about I don't use the park? Well, I'll just use my little patio area. Yeah. I'm not much of a people 45 person 45 bucks anyway. a month for a, fa- uh, a gate in Santa Maria? Hell, I'd pay twice that. Can we build a wall? See, that, that's, the, that's the thing, you know, is, is if, if it's in Santa Maria, $45 for the gate. Like any community, if it's gated, I'm going to understand that, okay, you know what? They're adding an extra level of security by gating the community. Um, I'm probably willing to fork over the dollar. Hey, thanks for hanging on, man. Go ahead. Well, I live in Santa Cruz, and I'm, I work down here, uh, but I've got pretty exorbitant HOA fees, but I have an upside. I have a, a garbage paid, and I have a pool. See, pool is is key. I, I I would pay quite a bit for a pool because think about it. If you own your own home and you had a pool, you got to pay the upkeep on that pool. Um, you've got to. I, and I've yeah, but you got to share the pool with your neighbors. Yeah, but still, that, that, that's true. I, yeah. I like the garbage though. The garbage is pretty nice. Mm-hmm. I've heard sometimes garbage yeah. and even um, cable satellite. But you know, um. My my mortgage is is like is a thousand dollars a month, and my HOA fees are you know almost half that. So <laughs> I don't know, it's it's pretty pricey. <laughs> well, let me tell you something. Thousand dollar a month mortgage ain't so bad though. <laughs> If you're paying That's fifteen, true. if you're paying fifteen hundred dollars a month, you consider yourself very lucky because that wouldn't go anywhere around here. <laughs> Maybe a studio apartment. Yeah, do that. Thanks for the call. Uh, I, my uncle lives in Palm Springs. I mean, this is Palm Springs, right? I mean, this should be an expensive place. Lives in a very, mm-hmm. very nice gated community. Is that why people move move out there? It's because the dollar can go pretty far, though. I mean, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I think his house was probably seven or eight hundred thousand. Yeah, but and I think all the houses in there are about the same, and uh, they have multiple gates, multiple areas. They've got pond. I mean, it looks like a park in there. Yeah, I mean, it's really that's nice. what I mean. That's what Palm Springs is. Pays a hundred and fifty dollars a month. Gets his garbage taken care of. Gets his uh, cable. I, I'm like, why do you have cable instead of satellite? Because because uh, they pay for it. Wow. Cable internet. Cable. Uh, tr- you know, spectrum. Well, that's what it would cost if you got it on your own. Right there. I mean, come on. That's that's great. Plus, it keeps up, you know, the grounds. Area. Yeah. yeah. And they got areas for dogs and all that kind of stuff. And they, they even have those little uh, dispensers out there with the poop bags. So if you forgot one at home, you can grab one out of there. They've got trash cans lined everywhere to put the poop in. And See, a lot like of people I, like have Like I dogs. said earlier, like, it, it's easy for uh, people to bitch about HOA fees. But if they're justified, nobody, nobody minds them. It's the ones that aren't justified. Like the one that says you got to pay two hundred dollars a month and you, and you have to leave your uh, garage door open from eight a.m. to four p.m. That is not a justified I can't HOA. Even imagine how that how that goes another day now that that story is out. Good morning, Jeff and Jeremy in the morning on ninety three point three KZOZ.